टुडे आई हैव प्लान टू डू समथिंग स्पेशल दैट वाज दो नॉट अ दैट वाज अ पार्ट ऑफ द कोर्स बेसिकली इट वाज थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द कोर्स बट द थिंग दैट आई एम गोइंग टू टेल वाज नॉट इवन इन द थर्ड पार्ट सो समथिंग स्पेशल इज गोइंग टू बी टोल्ड टुडे but before that is told today there is something that i will specifically want to talk about this is regarding the mahurta what we are going to learn today is just to say so basically what i will do today is i will give you a synopsis of all the 27 nakshatras and the result for them dusri baat main aapko ek batana the result for them and uh, so when moon or different planets are situated in a particular nakshatra what results they produce for all the 27 hai yeah. na because as i have already told in a class today we have to do vishakha vishakha is ruled by indragni now indragni is not a deity it is indra plus agni so some traits of indra and some traits of agni needs to be told now indragni we have already covered on youtube yeah, there is nothing more to it some two three fleeting points can be discussed that we will do at the end of it but i think you know a synopsis of all the 27 nakshatras in between will be very good so that i will do how planets and moon work in that nakshatra is a point and there is one more point so i think we have talked about it or not in vaidik text corpus as i have already told you that jyotish started from muhurt you know deciding the appropriate muhurt is how jyotish started and nakshatra is the first thing to get an invention first nakshatra was invented then rashi was invented then houses were invented you know to what work should be done in which nakshatra is a very important topic when moon is situated in a particular nakshatra what work can be done or in the other hand when you want to do a work which nakshatra should moon be placed in but of course not only moon moon is a time factor ascendant is also time factor ascendant is more minute time factor as compared to moon so of course the nakshatra of the moon and the nakshatra Uh, nakshatra of the ascendant both have to be taken into consideration and with this consideration we should decide if we are going to do a particular work what should be the placement of moon and ascendant so this we will talk about for all the 27 nakshatras and then we'll talk about the sindragan as i told you nothing much about it. but before i go there regarding mahurta there is one thing i have got देखो द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मुहूर्ता आर वेरी फ्यू सो यू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल द पंचांग फैक्टर्स एंड यू आर डन विद द मुहूर्त बट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द पंचांग फैक्टर इट सेल्फ इज अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट टास्क दैट इज पॉइंट वन दैट वी डोंट डिस्कस अबाउट राइट नाउ लर्निंग अबाउट नक्षत्र दैट वॉट वी आर डूइंग एंड एज नक्षत्र नो इज नोन एज नॉन डिस्ट्रक्टेबल न छत्र है ना समथिंग विच कैन नॉट बी डिस्ट्रॉयड it automatically puts the point that the nakshatra placement of the ascendant and the moon is of that most importance in any muhurta na horoscope is also a muhurta for the moment when you are born right so basically you say muhurta is the basic but there are two things about muhurta first of all everything of muhurta is not applicable everywhere for an example one should not get married when Jupiter is in Leo or Sun is in the Rashi of Jupiter, either Pisces or Sagittarius. This is a Murta topic. Singhast Guru, basically. Now an astrologer has produced a research over it. The greatest astrologer of Libra, like na, greatest the world have ever seen in the last forty thousand years, as per their claim, have produced a research that even Singhast Guru, Jupiter in Leo. is not bad for marriage and they have try to explain it using thousands of horoscopes hundreds of at least is what they basically claim a few examples given i have not read the book i don't read such books don't waste my time still 
but i think what is the purpose of the research it is very clearly stated that the blemish of jupiter being in leo or sun being in sagittarius or pisces is only applicable to those places or those cities which are on the banks of a river so if any city is situated on the banks of a river this rule is applicable but if a city is not situated on the banks of the river that is not applicable so basically if you get married in delhi because it is on the banks of yamuna you have to consider it but if you get married in jaisalmer certainly this is not the consideration because as far as i think jaisalmer is not on the boundary of any river so that is the basic point but you know people have to prove that no all the sages are wrong we are the only sage modern sage of 21st century god knows what they want to say but the basic point is that i want to keep is all the murta principles are not applicable everywhere many murta principles have a condition that this is to be applied to this place only and it keeps on changing place to place for example the murta for ban tail is only applicable in the north indian marriage if you are going to get married through the north indian method only then ban tail calculation is applicable south indian east indian and west indian method this need not be considered this is the basic point now another such basic point which is going nowadays is chaturmas so what happened some day ago someone talked about, someone was asking for a mahurta for shifting of his home he was he purchased a property flat basically and he want to he want to shift to that property so he he seeked the murta he seeked the vastu consultation did the murta did the vastu consultation now the thing is if one is shifting to an already made property property which is made earlier also the matlab someone have sold the someone have sold the property to you you want to shift into the property property which is already made a specific murta consideration for gri pravesh need not be done you can choose any good murta and you can shift for old property it is not applicable at all also in the case of a flat type of thing where you don't own the complete property from the ground level the murta for griha pravesh is not applicable so you just take any good murta and do a griha pravesh in that do a puja that's all that's done only in the case of new built property from ground floor up to the top where you own the complete property a proper murta for shifting to a new home griha pravesh should be taken out otherwise normal murta consideration will suffice good tithi good nakshatra good var good yoga good karan good ascendant very Number five. Now in this also, right now Chaturmas is going on, and this Chaturmas will be up to November. It generally starts from July August. It goes up to November, and it is told that in Chaturmas, good things should not be done. What is the importance of Chatur? Chaturmas is generally kept out. But my point is, the level of emphasis that can be given to this chaturmas how much emphasis can be given to chaturmas is chaturmas really a valid topic dekho there are two type of thing either people are super smart that they take every shloka from the sage they don't understand the shloka lack of formal training and people when people started writing astro before their names astrology somewhere died only astro left so either people have the approach of taking a shloka and mocking on rishis not understanding it or following them blindly which is both wrong you are a human not a sheep now regarding this chaturmas thing they go logic more than logic understanding valid reason praman shastriya praman have to be there no, before you accept anything now with this chaturmas i have a problem i generally give chaturmas murta to people and i always tell them that this is a chaturmas muhurt so if anyone tells you that this is a chaturmas muhurt you tell them ki gadhe jisne mujhe muhurt diya hai use bhi pata hai ki chaturmas hai to tension jante hain chaturmas chal raha hai we know it very well but why why such ignorance on my part that i also give muhurt on chaturmas dekho you have to technically understand it what is chaturmas chaturmas vishnu is sleeping and then there happens and dev uthan ekadashi on that day when vishnu wakes up it is also ekadashi people consider it is very good for marriage because four months there is no marriage because of chaturmas so many people get married on dev uthan ekadashi 
when Vishnu comes out of sleep and generally these marriages break. <laughs> First of all, Ekadashi is not ready to get married. This is the basic point that people tend to ignore. But I am talking of Chaturmas. So explain me a point. Chaturmas is the time when Vishnu is sleeping. The basic fact that I understand is in earlier times, Chaturmas is a time for rainy season. In earlier times, doing a function in rainy season, traveling in rainy season was very difficult. Jungles all around animals will come out, snakes will come out, there will be problems. So Buddhist, Jain and Hindu monks do not use to travel and because monks are not traveling, <clears throat> events are also not possible. Because in earlier times, you know, these arrangements of tents, etc. were not there. It is generally done in open. So problem used to grab them. But my problem is with the concept of Vishnu sleeping. So the point is Satyug, <coughs> sorry, Treta Yug, Satyug, Dwapar Yug, Kali Yug, all these four Yugas, Kali Yug have 4,32,000 years, you know. Out of that 4,32,000 years, we have spent some 50%, 40 to 60% of it, varied opinion. Now the tot now Dwapar Yuga is twice of Kali Yuga, Satyuga Sati Yuga is thrice of uh, Dwapar Yuga and Treta Yuga is four times of. Sorry, uh, this Dwapar Yuga is twice of Kali Yuga, Satyuga is thrice of Kali Yuga and Treta Yuga is four times of Kali Yuga. So it is a lot of many years and a go number goes in millions. Now one set of Treta Yuga, Sati Yuga, Dwapar Yuga, Kali Yuga, one set of it, which is some thousand million years, is the one day of Brahma. Okay, is one day of Brahma. Brahma lived for hundred such days. And hundred such days of Brahma is one day of vision. Getting my point? So it is, I think, 10 raised to the power of infinity kind of thing. This is a day of Brahma. This is a day of Vishnu. You see how huge this calculation is. And I am not saying this. Every Puran is saying this. This is common in all the Puran. Purans belonging to Devi Corpus, Saktism Corpus, Puran belonging to Vaishnavism, Puran belonging to Saivism. Everyone have this thought. Now you tell me a point. What is the value of when 100 years of Brahma is one day of Vishnu? And one day of Brahma is all the four Yugas together. In that four Yuga, Kali Yuga is having 4,32,000 years, Dwapar having double of it, Satyuga having thrice of it, and Treta having four times of it. What is the probability of Vishnu sleeping four months every year? Is Vishnu always keeps on sleeping? Kya Vishnu do do second mein so jata hai? Kya Vishnu alasi hai? Is Vishnu lazy god? Is he always sleeping? Why he cannot wake up for a day straight? Kya Vishnu ko din var mein itni nind aa rahi hai? Kya karta hai Vishnu? Aisa kya kaam hai bhai Vishnu ko? You have to think over it because it is an accepted fact. In all the Puranas. Are you getting my point? When you say that Vishnu sleeps four months a year, you are saying that Vishnu wakes up at 9.31, sleeps at 9.32, wakes up at 9.33, sleeps at 9.34. What is happening with Vishnu? Is Vishnu in a problem? Ek -ek minute bhi hai aur, aur chota. Even smaller. What is Vishnu? Is he having some problem? Can Vishnu not concentrate? Is he having a sleeping disease? Do Vishnu snore? Kya Vishnu ke paas achcha gadda nahi hai sone ke liye? Takiya badiya nahi hai kya? Vishnu ko nind kiyo hai? So this is wrong. This is a wrong concept. Vishnu should not sleep so much. Vishnu is the God. He should not have a sleeping related issues. He should not have sleep apnea at all. Is what I believe in. So the basic point is regarding Mahurta, many such things are there. Unaccepted things which cannot be gulped down. But it is popularized and once again blind people follow it blindly. But please for God's sake don't believe into it. Use some of your mind if you have. Because you are my students, you will actually have mind. So use it. Don't throw your mind out. Mind is a precious thing. You can throw money, not mind. Sorry. 
This is other way around. People throw mind and not money. This is very good. ऐसा कहते हैं ना नदी के ऊपर से जाओ तो सिक्का फेंकना चाहिए दिमाग फेंकना चाहिए ये किसी ने नहीं खाया आज तक कहेंगे यहाँ दिमाग फेंक देते हैं. People do that. Okay. So such concept, many such concepts are there in Muhurta which are illegitimate. Which was good for one point of time. It was good for that point of time in Chaturmas when there were many caves. It is told that when Muslims attacked Gujarat, the Jain people took shelter near Pune, Bhimbetka caves and all this, Bhimbetka Elorats, and they saved themselves. It was so dense a forest that even even if people are situated there, no one can find them. Not even Orangje Babar. Today you go to Pune, government will find you very quickly. Because there is no jungle left. Even in the jungle, if you sleep in jungle and if you think that I am alone, next day Jeep Safari will come. People click your photos. Oh my God, jungle man. Not realizing that you are from Badawda. Right? So this was true for a time. Not today. And this is to be understood for everything astrology. At a point of time, something can be considered and at another point of time, that thing may not be valid. Keeping this fact in mind, astrology and astrological calculation should be done very clear. Okay. Now coming to the point of nakshatra and the specific result that we are going to learn today. What needs to be done when a moon or the ascendant is into a particular nakshatra? And what is the natal result of that nakshatra? You should understand that both of them are intermingled. This is my basic. My basic is if Rikta Tithi indicates emptiness in the matters of Mahurta, someone born in Rikta Tithi will also have emptiness in their life. This is the basic understanding that I believe in. And this is what have given me many great Panjang techniques, at least basic ones which I have taught in depth in this move, astrology for everyone goes. Okay, because everyone need to take it. That's why astrology for everyone. But both have to be understood. Just a second. And what I am teaching you, I sh you should know the importance. This does not come from 1800s. This comes from 3000 BC. Not today. The Rigved was 5000 BC. This comes from 3000 BC. Such old. But very accurate even today. This is knowledge. You know, knowledge never gets old. People, people get old. Knowledge never. That's why old people produce younger knowledge. So, because it is from 3000 BC, you know, it will start from which nakshatra? Kritika. It will start from Kritika because 3000 BC Kritika is the first nakshatra. Ashwini became first nakshatra 2000 years ago. So, basically it says that Kritika nakshatra is good for all fire-based activity. Anything related to fire can be and should be done in Kritika Nakshatra. Okay. Yajna, Homa, Havan, these all included. Kritika is good for fire related activity once again. And added to this. See, you have to understand it this way. If you have to do yajna, havan, fire, building, anything related to fire, that should be done when the moon or ascendant is in Kritika Nakshatra. On the other hand, if the seventh lord goes to Kritika Nakshatra, wife may have just a second. Fire related issues indicated by Kritika. Basic one. Okay, good for fire related work, indicate fire related issues. If the seventh lord goes there, spouse may have fire related issues. Kritika is very good for construction. 
specifically for building of property and building of shops. Kritika is very good for this. Right, so for building a building a shop, building a property, Kritika Nakshatra can be chosen. If the fourth lord is in Kritika Nakshatra, it is very good for gain of property. Any planet in Kritika Nakshatra and the Dashantra, the shop of the planet, gain of property can be easily predicted. Right, and shop, re real business, you know, crude business kind, shop related business can be done. Kritika, making of utensil is also very good in Kritika. Making of utensil basically means using things like copper, lead, gold, etc. to convert into any type of usable product. Making of utensil is not equal to making of jewelry. Right? So, uses of semi-precious metal for earning livelihood is indicated by Kritika. Anything related to yellow and red color. Anything related to yellow and red color is also indicated by Kritika. Yellow color, gold, red color, brass and copper. So things related to gold, brass and copper can be satisfactorily done in Kritika Nakshatra. If the 10th Lord goes into Kritika Nakshatra, then things related to brass, gold and copper will suit. Or as a remedy, brass, gold and copper can be worn by those who have any planet in Kritika Nakshatra. So, this extensively you have to understand it. I will tell you in a short manner. Rest you can understand yourself. And I am just telling you the adjective to be could be you put it. Along with this, kanyadan or the donation of kanyadan or marriage of woman is indicated by Kritika Nakshatra. Herding of cattle, animal reproduction kind of a thing which many people do is also indicated by Kritika Nakshatra, whereas Kritika Nakshatra is very favorable or Kritika Nakshatra favorably indicates black color. Coming to natal horoscope, Kritika is interested in self-study. Self-study, research, self-discipline, doing things on your own, Kritika Nakshatra indicates. Along with this, Kritika Nakshatra indicates well-mannered people. Kritika Nakshatra makes you famous. Kritika Nakshatra gives you long life, makes you attractive, but makes you short-tempered also. Along with this, Kritika Nakshatra makes one charitable and religious as well. So, 9th Lord in Kritika, religious. 10th Lord in Kritika, religious work. 11th Lord in Kritika, unstrued religion. 7th Lord in Kritika, wife religious. 5th Lord in Kritika, child religious. 11th Lord in Kritika, you religious, etc. And that you understand yourself, as I told you, I will tell adjective remaining grammar you do also. Now, Kritika Nakshatra is also good to do magic against enemies. And Kritika Nakshatra should be strongly avoided for cutting your hair. Shaving, etc. kind of a thing, Kritika Nakshatra does not indicate. So generally, in such cases, you can say that those who have moon or ascendant in Kritika Nakshatra, if they keep good beard, if they don't shave their hairs, long hair suited to them. Rohini Nakshatra, anything done in Rohini Nakshatra have a long lasting impact, imperishable. This can be taken as if seventh lord in Rohini Nakshatra, marital life goes good or at least sustains for a lifetime, at least. Rohini Nakshatra also indicates praiseworthy activities for which one is praised. Rohini Nakshatra also indicates ointment of kings and officials. Rajya Abhishek, what is called. Rohini Nakshatra is also very fertile, indicates many children good for fertility related activities, child planning, etc. Whereas on the other hand, Kritika Rohini Nakshatra denies taking gifts. Rohini Nakshatra is bad for gift taking, gift giving, gifts don't sustain. In the natal chart also, as already told, Rohini Nakshatra indicates good children, many children, gives long life, makes one rich, gives one many conveniences, generally gives one business. The person is of forgiving nature, person is grateful and empathy. And I have empathy with many people. Okay. Mirgashira Nakshatra is very tender, tender, soft, docile, whatever you say. For any soft action such as making friendship, meeting people, giving a proposal, friendly proposal, and a friend meeting, etc. For these things, Mirgashira Nakshatra is good. 
Mirgashira nakshatra also indicates good growth, specifically of grains and trees. Right? Specifically production of milk. Mirgashira nakshatra is very good for production of milk and milk related activities. So 10th lot of Mirgashira, milk related activities basically. It is, Mirgashira Nakshatra is also very good for religious function and religious observances. So whenever you want to start a mantra, if you do it when moon or ascendant is in Mirgashira, seems to be very good. For naming ceremony and completion of education, also Mirgashira is good. So because Mirgashira is good for completion of education, fifth lord in Mirgashira should give you high education. Lagna lord in Mirgashira may indicate multiple names or the change of name by the name. A start of a yajna religious sacrifice is also very auspicious in Mirgashira. Propitiation and nourishment related things are also supported by Mirgashira. Acquiring good properties and royal treatment is also indicated by Mirgashira. Along with this, Mirgashira is soft natured, belongs to a great lineage, is very pleasant with everyone, is steady and firm in whatever he does and thinks. He's long lived in specifically, he's a scholarly, intelligent, and is involved into research. Adra Nakshatra is a winner over enemies and any type of adversities. Adra Nakshatra will always come out victorious. For the things of sowing and plowing, doing the hard work and reaping good results out of it is what Adra indicates. Adra is the only nakshatra that gives you right result of your hard work and patience, etc. For the digging of wells, Adra is good. So if the 10th Lord is in Adra, you can say digging of wells also and you can say minerals, excavations, archaeology as a possible profession as well. And a different understanding to you people can do yourself. And you people are advanced students, non nursery children. And all of you at least have done 12th standard, I think. So you people will be able to. For buying and selling, commerce, Adra Nakshatra promotes it. And for attack, training activities, and for things related to weapon, Adra is good for that. But Adra also indicates a lot of miseries and test. Person have to go through a lot of sufferings. Adra is very straightforward. They cannot tell lies or presume or you know assume things. They are straightforward. Also, they are short-tempered. They have a sadistic streak. So generally, even when good is happening, they may think that something bad is coming and can be tensed because of it. They are fond of, they go, it is written that fond of deer meat. Of deer meat to no one eats. So basically you can say fond of food, which is aquasite, not easily available or fond of things which are not recommended to be eaten. Right. But Adra gives a good body. Good. 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 Uh, immunity. Immunity good system. Good immunity. And along with this, Adra is swift and merciless also. Punaravasu Nakshatra is very good for repetitive things. The things which have to be done again and again, repetitive things, Punaravasu supports that. But Punaravasu also indicates approaching, having relationship or marrying someone who is already married. Punarvasu is very good for Grah Pravesh, house entry and prenatal rights. Prenatal rights are the rights which are done when the child is still in womb. Which for natal horoscope you can interpret as Punarvasu can give complications in pregnancy. For religious rights also Punarvasu is good. So Punarvasu also indicates someone is religious. Punarvasu is very bad for medical treatment. And in the natal chart, Punarvasu indicates lots of diseases and failure of medical procedure. For the traveling, Punarvasu is a very good nakshatra. 
So if the lagna lot is in Punarvasu, one have to travel a lot, or you can say in a stable points. Punarvasu makes one famous, fortunate, knowledgeable, intelligent, disciplined, robust, leader, wealthy, tender, and one who is fond of women. So you can say Punarvasu indicates extra marital affair also. Fond of women does not exactly mean extra marital affair, but can translate into provided the fact Lagna is also there. Pushya nakshatra is very good for auspicious activities excluding marriage. To purchase a vehicle, Pushya nakshatra is also good for that. So you say if the fourth lord is in Pushya nakshatra, one have many conveniences. Pushya nakshatra is also very good for making of palaces. Pushya is also very good for making of properties. Pushya is good for mechanic. Pushya is good for the purchase of mechanical devices also. Tenth Lord in Pushya one works with mechanical devices. Pushya indicates banners. That means Pushya indicates fame. Pushya indicates umbrella. Other words, Pushya indicates protection. Pushya indicates weapon. Which means Pushya makes you winner. Pushya indicates coronation. Other words, Pushya indicates gain of status and position. Pushya indicates celebration of victory. And Pushya, in, Pushya is also good for admission of students and others desirous of acquiring knowledge and skill to Gurugul. So you can say Pushya indicates good knowledge, high level of knowledge. Fifth Lord in Pushya, very good, well educated. But Pushya, in Pushya Nakshatra, one should avoid the opening and one should avoid any drink. So drinking anything or making any drink is not good in Pushya Nakshatra. You can say waterborne diseases can happen with Pushya Nakshatra. On the other hand, Pushya is very enthusiastic, very powerful, very much skilled in theory and practice, lives a kingly life and is a family patriarch. So belongs to a great lineage kind of case, you can say. Asalesha is very good for setting up of armory, which on the other words, you can say Asalesha Nakshatra is protected by people around him. So people around Asalesha tries to save Asalesha person. But Asalesha also indicate deserted forts. Fourth Lord in Asalesha one have to desert their property. Asalesha also indicates binding activities. So Asalesha binds people. Make them majboor. Asalesha in, indicates checking dams on rivers. Once again, you know, another interpretation of binding or limiting the capabilities of people. Asalesha also indicate making of antidotes for poison. In the other words, Asalesha indicate doctor and related. Asalesha also indicate pain inflicting. In other words, it's also indicate torture, black emailing kind of a thing. Asalesha indicates black magic also. Okay. And other destructive activities are also indicated by Asalesha. As Asalesha native, Asalesha is fond of travel. Asalesha procrastinates or thinks a lot. Asalesha is cruel. Asalesha is deceptive. Asalesha is short tempered. Asalesha is hateful. But on the other hand, Asalesha lives for long and Asalesha is wealthy. So, Lagna Lord in Asalesha natives lives for long. Seventh Lord in Asalesha spouse lives for long, etc. etc. That though you know yourself, right? Adjective, I am telling you, grammar, you yourself. Magha is good for sowing and harvesting of grains. Basically indicating all the hard work done by Asalesha gets paid today or tomorrow. Asalesha is good for propitious actions. Asalesha is good for organizing groups. Asalesha is good for construction of cubicles. That means fourth lord in Asalesha generally indicate a very small home cubicle type. Asalesha is also very good for attack. You can say very good for winning also. Sixth Lord in Asalesha, enemies, sorry, Magha. Sixth Lord in Magha, enemies can never overpower. Magha is also very good for gruesome activities and Magha is also very good for ancestral rights. 
on the other hand magha enjoys a lot of wealth and good career opportunities magha is wise magha is powerful magha is straight forward friendly and magha indicates a good physique and body i should tell you a point i was doing a consultation today some time ago that was related to one of our children's only one of our course he is a student and he prominently have a planet in magha he is quite in age now so 50s around is doing his horoscope and while doing his horoscope he tells me that sir i have got quite a good education and i have done well in life also there is no doubt in it but being from one of the top institutes what i must have had i think that i am lacking though i do very well earn good amount of money have settled everything but somehow in my hearts i have this pain that i am not able to do the thing that i wanted and now as i have told you magha is sowing and harvesting of grain you know the whatever hard work you do you get a result out of it. so he have the problem that sir i have tried music for some time could not succeed i have tried this field for some time i could not succeed what do you think i told him see you have this this 50 51 years of you are right now and you have quite a long life according to the horoscope and because the lagna lord is in magha so lagna lord is goes into an enemy sign in magha but the house placement is good and a taurus ascendant magha so 4000 digvali but bad rashi and but still lagna lord goes to an inimical sign but gets digvali and life is quite there it is a long life case and right now the age is 50 51 so maine kaha to i think that the old age 55 56 onwards good results will be there and whatever hard work you have done and you think you haven't got results of it you will get for sure without any doubt the result comes from magha because magha indicates sowing and harvesting of grains that means whatever hard work you do you get result out of it there is no hard work which goes waste and at magha because i have seen a magha horoscope today i remember it generally i see a lot of horoscopes and i don't remember abhi when you see three three horoscopes per day what do you even remember after four days and it becomes all jumbled purva falguni nakshatra is good for starting medicine and good for starting the chanting of mantra purva falguni is also good for marriage is also good for commercial activities specifically in edibles purva falguni is also good for start of frugal work start of frugal work good for black magic and good for things related to welfare so if someone have 10th lord in purva falguni they can open an ngo not an issue on the other hand purva is prosperous milky complexion but is polygamous multiple relationships and have few male offsprings and prominently female offsprings uttra falguni nakshatra person is uttra falguni nakshatra is suitable to conduct the rites of passage conducts the death related rites so you can say uttra falguni indicates the relatives dying quite early or people having problems through their ancestors activities related to civic work uttra falguni indicates so you say architecture related works residence entry into residence building of residence uttra falguni indicates purchase of vehicle uttra falguni indicates clothing and jewelry uttra falguni indicates. so second lord in uttra falguni one have properties vehicles and jewelries as an asset 11th lord in uttra falguni one uses his maximum wealth into purchasing residence vehicles and jewelry 10th lord in uttra falguni one works in architecture or vehicle related or jewelry related work etc etc har 10 10 minute mein bol deta hu bhai ki koi confusion na ho jaye and because see the course is any course that i teach is very huge and if you don't become attentive it will become a problem for you you will not be able to understand so i have to remind you again and again uttra falguni on the other hand indicates wealth acquired by charity and wealth acquired by chance good luck uttra falguni is very fond of entertainment 
very scholarly, stable in his disposition, Uttara Falguni Nakshatra have many friends also. Hasta Nakshatra indicates strong actions, actions which cannot be undone, actions for which there is no forgiveness. Hasta indicates royal coronation also gain of power and status and position. Hasta also indicates the start of things which commence finish quickly and fixed actions for acquiring fame. Along with this, Hasta is good for travel, employment of people in your protection, good for writing, good for giving taxes, good for riding elephants and construction of stables, basically good for purchasing any type of vehicle and a heavy motor vehicle also, light motor vehicle also. Hasta is prosperous, good looking, scholarly, well versed in theory and practice, artistic and enthusiastic. Chitra is very good for soft actions, which basically do not hurt anyone. Auspicious for work related to ornaments, work related to houses. Auspicious to travel into capital city, indicates sculpture, jewelry shops, medical treatment. Good to start a medical treatment also. Indicates work related to dance, dancers, scribing, that is writing and copying. And training and parades. On the other hand, Chitra is prosperous, wise, handsome, ornamented, which on the other uh, hand will also be rich. Soft natured, curious about animals and have a colorful eyes. Colorful eyes. Result to be noted. Swati is good for travel related work. Employment of Charmers. Basically, this should be taken as employment of someone who claims to give you miraculous result. Good for covering of music instruments. Basically, good for works related to music. Auspicious for house entry, marriage and other things which you should want to remain permanent. So basically, not good for purchase of vehicle because then vehicle will be permanently parked in your garage that you don't want and you want it moving. Swati, on the other hand, is restless, strong, is a very good orator, but is a polymath, is righteous, powerful, and erudite. Erudite is the top, top class. In anything, erudite scholar, top class scholar, that stuff. Vishakha gives one strength, but divides people, indicate fights. Vishakha also indicate things which are deep-rooted, and deep thinking, Generation-long fight, generation-long dissatisfaction kind of thing. It indicates cleaning and tender work, cultivation of any type of grains, wheat, cotton, sesame seeds, and black gram. It is Vishaka, what Vishaka indicates. And because it indicates wheat, caution, wheat, cotton, sesame, and black gram, this can be donated also as a remedy for Vishaka or work related to these things can be done when the 10th Lord, 11th Lord goes to Vishaka, etc. etc. Vishakha makes one royal or at least supported by royal people. Vishakha makes one highly eligible for anything. Vishakha is bright. Vishakha is determined. Vishakha is wealthy with a lot of profession options and lot of income options. And Vishakha is fond of women. So multiple relationships, multiple marriages. You can say. Anuradha Nakshatra is very good to make long lasting friendship. Anuradha is good for delicate things. Anuradha is good for works related to medicine. Anuradha is good for vehicle. Anything related to vehicle, repair of vehicle, purchase of vehicle, whatever. Anuradha is also good for decoration. Very good nakshatra for shaving. Very good nakshatra for travel. Very good nakshatra for do anything related to waters, water travel, etc. If one travels in this nakshatra, his travel will be unobstructed, unhindered. And Anuradha is very good for quarreling also. So, Anuradha basically is friendly, soft natured, and collects gems or say valuable collectible things. Lives a comfortable life, is Valeras famous, righteous. 
and is the karta dharta is coin of his family jeshtha indicates supports gruesome activities supports war supports black magic but along with this supports construction of palace and residence so fourth lord in jeshtha seems to be good coronation of kings of royal clan is also supported by jeshtha basically indicating 10th lord in jeshtha is also a good situation on the other hand jeshtha is enthusiastic jeshtha is bright jeshtha is short tempered simple haughty disturbing clever jeshtha profits by trading profits by business jeshtha is calm controls his enemies attains chiefhood becomes a master here and a woman born in jeshtha nakshatra specifically a woman born in jeshtha nakshatra will be a leader but her marital life will be very bad this is my basic thumb rule woman with raj yoga bad marital life mula nakshatra is very good for gruesome actions bad things to do and for things which you want to sustain fixed actions mula nakshatra is also very good for doing the marriage rites not for marriage itself mula nakshatra is good for sowing of seeds so basically hard work gives result mula nakshatra also indicates plants and trees construction of pedestal or stair sidhi is good for mula nakshatra collection of capitals mula nakshatra indicate tax basically and mula nakshatra is bestowed with long life bestowed with fame children wealth and is skillful in underground construction तो ऐसा नहीं है कि इलेवेंथ लॉर्ड मूला में बैठा हो तो बेसमेंट में भी काम कर सकता है पूर्वाषाढ़ा इज वन अगेन गुड फॉर ग्रूसम बैड एक्टिविटीज पूर्वाषाढ़ा नक्षत्र इज गुड फॉर डिगिंग एक्सकावेशन पूर्वाषाढ़ा नक्षत्र इज गुड फॉर मेकिंग गार्डन और एनी वाटर रिलेटेड बॉडी पूर्वाषाढ़ा नक्षत्र इंडिकेट्स दैट ट्रेवलिंग ओवर वॉटर बोटिंग इज इंडिकेटेड बाय पूर्वाषाढ़ा cultivation of flower cultivation of fruit and cultivation of rubber is indicated by purvasada on the other hand purvasada is bestowed with long life fond of propitious actions successful in life loves art fond of water wine meat but is sickly disease weak uttarashada indicates fixed activity once again those things which cannot be under indicates construction of building construction of check post construction of taxation halls promotes king indicates promotion gives one good servants gives one good officers and good employees gives one important people makes one important person indicates collection of vehicle collection of clothing and other required material but is very good very bad for enmity and very bad for having hatred supports defeat on the other hand uttarashada is fond of gambling is vigilant virtuous impeccable character a very good character erudite eligible for all the good results like good eligibility so it is not someone who is not eligible and is still situated in a position it is someone who is highly eligible for the position he is in so see it is written na character uttarashada indicates character so if seventh lord is in uttarashada and one is doubting their spouse it is bad it spouses of character right on the other hand when uttarashada is afflicted by a malefic person can be characterless so understood should should be understood shravan is very good for learning related work very good for coronation get coronation means joining of job is also coronation and you know, a rise of position status for other regular activity shaving etc all these regular activities to start activity which you wish to do regularly shravan is good to start doing nourishment rites start taking of medicine etc shravan is good good for marriage good for work related to vehicle and ornaments good for start of education good for start of medical on the other hand shravan is knowledgeable shravan is healthy shravan is strong shravan is wealthy shravan is religious but shravan have a very bad voice shravan always wins over his enemies and shravan is eloquent ashwari sal and good money just a second and then we will continue
हाँ जी पोस्ट श्रवण श्रवण यूनिट ड्रॉइंग धनिष्ठा देखो धनिष्ठा इज गुड फॉर विजिटिंग फ्रेंड्स धनिष्ठा इंडिकेट्स वेल विशर्स धनिष्ठा इंडिकेट्स रिलेटिव धनिष्ठा इंडिकेट सेलेक्टिंग सुटेबल पीपल फॉर डूइंग बिजनेस विथ बिजनेस पार्टनरशिप धनिष्ठा इंडिकेट्स धनिष्ठा इंडिकेट्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एक्टिविटीज कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ हाउस गुड फॉर ट्रेवल and all religious rites related to birth the nishta indicates that. so on the other hand you can also say that if the fifth lord is in the nishta one have to do some religious rites because getting of children can be problematic difficult on the other hand in the natal chart the nishta indicates royal wealthy people who are resplendent straight forward capable of achieving everything in life whatever they want And they are famous also. The Nishta makes you famous. Like in a lot of the Nishta, you are famous. Tenth Lord in the Nishta, what you do, you have made it famous, etc. Satvisha wins in war with black magic. Okay, master of occult knows occult is what you can say. Satvisha have impelling weaponry, so very good tools which others don't possess. Satvisha will. Sadhvisha do work related to seeds, so sowing a particular idea or creating a change transformation. Sadhvisha does. Sadhvisha indicates spirituous drinks such as alcohol and sakra is indicated by Sadhvisha. Along with this, Sadhvisha indicates medicine, so working with medicine, taking of medicine, start of a treatment, etc. And on Sadhvisha, one should not attack. Marching of army or any type of travel should be forbidden. Should not be done. In Satvisha, as a person, Satvisha is friendly, wealthy with lot of career and professional opportunities, straightforward, fond of drinking alcohol and eating non-vegetarian food. It is very stingy, and sting stingy is very wise, and Satvisha person is addicted to vices. Yes, sir. So they are addicted to vices, and they can justify their vices for good also. So basically, you cannot debate with a Satvisha person. Purva Bhadra Prad, known as Purva Prost Prad, earlier, is good for gruesome activities, bad activities of killing, cheating, betraying, etc. Indicated by that, work connected to falsehood, false claim, and false promises, etc. Indicated by that, evil activities done in the evening, done under a shadow, is indicated by Purva Bhadra Prad. To wear things related to protection. Armor etc. is indicated by Purva Bhadra Prad. Working in the fields, the intersections of roads is indicated by Purva Bhadra Prad. And Purva Bhadra Prad is very bad for travel, specifically traveling in the south direction. As a person, Purva Bhadra Prad is cruel, but very expert in attacking and warfare. Arms and works related to timber. And possesses earns money or possesses very good kind of wood, and have many professional opportunities in life. Uttra Bhadra Prad is good for fixed activities, which continues for law. Is good for commencement of residences, towns, and cities. So basically, builders and architects is what Uttra Bhadra Prad indicates. is good for marriage good for midwives so basically good for giving birth to a child you know painless labor kind of stuff auspicious work of making things which are used in a household bed sofa etc it right? is good for that goods for acquiring land and goods for sale purchase and things related to clothing putra bhadra prad as a person is regal religious famous one who win over his enemies and subdues his enemies and one who is comfortable and happy in life revati on the other hand is very good for delicate activities things related to medicine things related to vehicle things related to properties and residence is very good for driving very good for handling animals very good for collection very good for frying frying as in ubalna talna so ubalna ubalna is boiling and a grinding of grains and making of liquor revati supports that as a person revati is miserly 
possesses many business and income opportunities is very wealthy so miserably wealthy both travels a lot collects different types of metals is healthy successful and grabs the wealth of others through cheating and other methods ashwini nakshatra is good for medicinal work good for things which you don't want which you want to accomplish as quickly as possible also good for firm activities firm actions and firm decisions all type of work related to vehicle and traveling can be done in ashwin it is auspicious to start almost every kind of activity deployment of thieves and deployment of people to destroy your enemies is good in ashwini nakshatra and to kill people ashwini is a good nakshatra as a person ashwini native is lucky generous fond of alcohol and non vegetarian food generally idol does not do things on his own is not motivated to do things on his own is given to stealing and lying is valiant and friendly also bharni nakshatra is into bad activities gruesome activities activities which are hateful but as a person he is knowledgeable in art he is bright intelligence and an erudite erudite scholar is what can be said so these are all the 27 nakshatras in a nutshell is what i have told to you and the course 